Renko has been the hugest supporter, never back down, never ever questions coming to help us or all of you guys most importantly. They're one of the few companies that we can say from the beginning we've been associated with. We went to them for just about every favor we could. Let me introduce Jim Mazzari from Renko. Thank you, Connecticut SWAT Challenge, Chris, Jeremy, your families, all the volunteers. I can't say enough about this group. We have some great new tools. Basically just doing a four or five minute video walking around Bearcats priced as low as 242000 One of the things that we've all learned, especially if you own a Bearcat, that the argument that the militarization of police is made worse with a Bearcat who knows, who knows in their heart that's not true? When there's a bad guy with a rifle or a bad lady with a rifle, I got a phone call yesterday, blew my mind. Woman shoots, a, shoots an officer in Oklahoma, jumps in the back seat of a marked unit, locks herself in with the AR-15. How do you get her out? They took two Bearcats, one from each side. She threw the gun out the window. They dragged the gun away from her. She eventually got out. Uh, Lance Schreyer from Oklahoma State Patrol. He said, Jim, you saved that woman's life, not to mention our lives. I said, thank you very much. It wasn't me, it was the guys who built that truck. The reason we know it's not the militarization of police is the same reason we know that when you parents give your kids a cell phone and you say, look, you're gonna be driving soon. I want you to make sure wherever you go, you use GPS. Why do you want to use GPS for safety's sake? The military invented the GPS. Do we call it the militarization of driving? No. When you ski and you put on an advanced warm weather parka, do you call it the militarization of keeping warm while you're skiing? The military invented all that great gear that we wear when we ski. So if you don't have that equipment, you don't have a GPS. I used to say G the original GPS was grab person on sidewalk. That's what I used to do. Some of you are old enough to remember doing that, and it never worked well. But when you don't have a bear cap, I want you to go to your command staff and you want to say, look, we don't know what's going to happen. I can cut open an apple. What can I count in those apples? Seeds, 5, 10, 15, 20 seeds. Anybody can do it. But only God can count the apples in a seed. So when you go to your command staff and you say, we need this bear cat, why? Because only God knows what isn't going to happen. He's the only one that can see the future and say, had you had that piece of equipment, this person might not have gotten hurt, or this bad guy, who probably deserved it, didn't get hurt. Because sometimes, even when the bad guy deserves it, it's more fallout than it's worth. We've all seen it. So our equipment, the reason the Bearcat and the Lenko brand is loved so much, is because it takes regular guys, and what does it turn you into? Clark Kent? Becoming Superman. You go to you watch any movie, any comic book, any TV show. What did Superman never do? He never killed anybody. Why? He did not fear for his life. If you don't fear for your life, you're in charge. You can take control. It doesn't matter if it takes five minutes or five hours. You're the hero. That's what we want to do. We want to compliment who you are. You're the heroes of your community. We can help you do it. We have a grant writing team. We have financing available. We have used Bearcats in the 169 range with a one-year warranty fully uh, refurbished. You know what this is? Our next generation of car. We have to pimp it out a little. Needs spinners on the wheels, maybe undercarriage light. Yeah. Hop in. Sit in there and let me get a picture of you ready to drive your next car. Those windows don't go up or down. I guess if you have bulletproof windows, they go up.
lot of people, a lot of friends in this. And they can take it down. With our heroes. And there's gun ports if you need them. Somebody can be in the center standing up on that. All right, so you build a pretty good vehicle here, but there is room for improvement. We spent a lot of time thinking about this after dinner and some wine last night. First of all, undercarriage lights. Okay. Second of all, spinners on the wheels. Okay. People want to see you coming. This is black. It just blends in everything. LED lights with like our like our golf cart, you know, yeah, the, like the blue, li blue I mean, lights. And I'm thinking a good sound system inside and outside because this is a <laughs> boss vehicle. You want everybody to hear you coming from a long ways away. Right. What else did we say? Oh, uh, one of the awning. an awning. awning. Yeah. So we want to sit outside and have a little barbecue, maybe an awning that could go off the side. <laughs> so if you want to put these together, you know, I understand your barbecue is mostly law enforcement, right. but I'm thinking we live in a retirement community. Uh -huh. You haven't seen these 55 year old ladies with their golf cart. They're pretty aggressive. <laughs> With this, we get some damn respect. I think I'm more worried about the stray golf balls. Retail oh, market. Oh, oh, Retail. Oh, oh, windows though. <laughs> with the windows, I don't have to worry about golf balls, do I? Unless right. the unless the uh, lovely. Uh... Oh, they can hit it through the gun ports. Yeah. If they're really well, good. The hatch is open. Anybody? When the play? hatch is open. The hatch is open. That's a hole in one. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. Nice talk. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for sponsoring the dinner yeah. last night and this event. I mean. We, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for the sponsors. Thank we really, really appreciate you're all you're doing for the SWAT. My pleasure. Thank you, sir.